everybody, Sarah here. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you're new here, welcome. And thank you so much for tuning into this video. I upload faith-based teaching videos every single Wednesday. And my goal is to encourage you in your walk with Christ. So consider subscribing. Um, obviously the Bible says nothing about online dating because the internet was not a thing back in Jesus' day. And obviously it honestly doesn't say anything about dating in general. So we ultimately have to be led by the Holy Spirit and wisdom. So my goal for this video is just to share some wisdom with you guys. You know, a lot of people have a lot of varying strong opinions regarding um, online dating and it's understandable. Um, but again, you just ultimately have to be led by the Holy Spirit and by wisdom. So first and foremost, before I even get into anything regarding online dating, I want to reiterate because I've talked about it before in other videos. I want to say about dating or courtship or whatever term you want to use. As a whole, as a believer, our purpose and our goal in reference to dating should be different than the world. Our pursuit of a romantic relationship should be for evaluation to see if this person is meant to be your spouse or not. That is the goal. I mean, because if you're not pursuing a romantic relationship with marriage in mind, then what are you pursuing a romantic relationship for? Just to go on a date with somebody? Just to go to the movies with somebody because you're bored? That's what your friends are for. For you to go to the movies, for you guys to hang out with, for you guys to go have fun. You do not have to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend for that reason alone. Your goal should be, I want to marry you to glorify God together so we can display the gospel and make disciples together. If marriage is not your goal, then you're just wasting each other's time. If that's not your goal, then I would advise you to not enter into a relationship. There are tons of sites. There's eHarmony, there's Match, there's Christian Mingle, and there's probably others that I clearly don't know about. But nonetheless, these sites go very in-depth to try to match you with your long-term mate and love, you know, based on like religion and personality and um, preferences and all those different things. So let's go over a couple of pros for online dating, shall we? One upside of online dating is that you can know right off the bat if somebody is looking for marriage, if they're just looking for something for like a one night stand type of thing, which we're clearly not about, we're not about that life, or if somebody is intentionally looking for marriage. Another pro could be the fact that you have way more options than that are available to you at work that are available to you at church and anywhere else that you go. So now let's jump on over to some of the cons, the negatives of online dating. The first and foremost, whether you are a believer or not believer, is the fact is that it can be dangerous. Just because he says, I'm Billy from five miles away does not mean that he's really Billy from five miles away. You know what I'm saying? So you really have to be super cautious. You know, meet on video chat before you ever meet somebody in person. And then when you meet in person, you wanna make sure that you do it in a very public place during the day and maybe take a couple of friends with you, especially sisters, take a couple of your brothers, you know what I'm saying? Some of your Christian brothers with you, you know what I'm saying? Just in case things get a little out of hands. Another con is that it can be very time consuming. Online dating sites are very in depth, which is a good thing to, so that they can, you know, match you as much as best that they can, which is great, but it can be time consuming answering those questions and even just going through people's profiles, reading those messages and things like that. So it can be very time consuming and distract you even from what you should be doing, how you should be spending your time and your in energy for the things of God in your single season. Another con is that these dating sites ain't free, okay? They might give you a free trial or whatever the case may be, but they're not free. There definitely is a financial piece that goes along to online dating that a lot of people don't take into consideration. Another con of online dating is you really can't ask around about this person, this potential person that you're interested in or whatever the case may be. You can't go and ask, you know, your cousin, hey, I know you know Lil Billy. Is he crazy? <laughs> Does he really love Jesus? Like, is what he's saying in his profile true? Is this accurate or did he just lie trying to get some church girl? You don't have the ability to go ask, you know, some your pastor, hey, you know, kind of interested in Billy. Is what you think about Billy? Then would we be a good match? Is he cool? Is he is it a good thing? That's that's one thing is that you don't have the ability to kind of ask other people what they think of the person and what they think of the two of you together. Whether you pursue online dating or dating the old fashioned way, if you will, meeting somebody in person, however you meet them, you wanna First and foremost, nonetheless, be Holy Spirit led. You want to definitely make sure that you are surrounding yourself with godly counsel, wise godly counsel. The Bible says much about um, having advisors and counsel around you, and I'll put those on the screen for you to reference in your own time. When you're talking to somebody online, whether that's through an online dating site or even through Facebook or whatever the case may be, don't feel compelled to respond to every message that somebody sends to you every person that expressed interest in you, you don't have to respond to that. Like even be led by the Holy Spirit and who to respond to. If God is telling you to 
pursue online dating, then you need to be God-led in everything, who you're responding to, how you're answering the questions in every area. And one thing that I will say to you guys is do not pursue online dating because you've been single for five years and you're tired of being single. God, it's taking too long and you just feel like you're gonna take banners into your own hands. Don't do that. We can see from biblical examples of from Sarai of how things turn out when you take matters into your own hands and you don't trust God and you're not patient. Just trust God and wait. So do I personally think there's anything wrong with online dating? No. If it's truly the Lord telling you to do it versus you being impatient and trying to take things to your own hands, I totally think that God can use Christian mingle or whatever the case may be. Again, as long as it's the Holy Spirit leading you and not you leading you to do something like that. Would I ever do it? I try to never say never, but as for me, I don't think that I would be doing it. I've heard stories of people that love the Lord, that you know are truly a disciple of Jesus Christ, and the Lord told them to pursue online dating and they met their spouse and they're, you know, living for Jesus. They're serving and, you know, they're making disciples and all that awesome stuff. So we can't put God in a box. We can't limit God and say that we shouldn't, you know, pursue online dating. If he tells you to pursue online dating, you better go get your man, girl. You, you better go, you know, find your wife, sir. Like, don't limit God and think care of what other people have to say or what they're going to think. You better do what God tells you to do. So don't think this is a, this is a, a pass for you to go jump on Christian Mingle. But oh, well that girl on YouTube, mm -mm. again, let me stress it another time. If you didn't catch it the first couple of times, be led by the Holy Spirit, not by Sarah, not by your flesh, not by your feelings, not by your emotions, but the Holy Spirit of God. If you let the Holy Spirit lead you, he'll never lead you astray. So perfectly this video helped you guys in some way, shape or form. Make sure that you tell me in the comment sections below if you guys have any online dating stories that you can share or if there are any other tips or pros or cons that I didn't mention that you wanna share. Make sure that you leave them in the comment sections below. Make sure that you like this video, that you share it with someone that will be blessed and encouraged by it and that you subscribe for new videos every single Wednesday. Grace and peace.